because are being they are being imposed onto our So we consider this one a breaking one from the regional parliamentary sitting. You will know uh, the man, the lion himself, that is Honorable Gilbert Olanya, the member of parliament, full black uh, side in Amuro district. Gilbert Olanya said straight away on the major two issues one of the major two issues affecting the wealth in northern uganda that many people doesn't want to talk about even government agencies doesn't want to talk about the first one is about uh, agriculture extension and then the second one is about fiscal policy on the agriculture extension, Gilbert Lanya hit the hammer on the head by talking about as somebody who has done, I think he has done proper research, he talked about the issue of the first rule of extension. And the first rule of extension says, begin with the people. So you can't just bring something which is not in the interest of the people. Lest see what Gilbert say. For example, nuts. Nuts, they normally dictate to our people that please, you have to grow oranges. Our speaker, government injected billions of ceilings on nuts. At the end, we normally see we normally see seedlings of mangoes being taken to some county. And people are forced to collect those mangoes and plant. Yet it has no value to our people. Let the program come from the ground. Let people tell what they want to do, but not to impose program on the people of Northern Uganda. On the second issue, that is a fiscal policy, Gilbert Laya hit the hammer on the head about the price fluctuation. It is on record. The government cannot even pretend that they're not aware of that any product that heals high in northern Uganda will always have the price dropping. Yes, me personally, I'm an agricultural scientist. I know there's price fluctuation in agricultural communities, but there's one thing that we must remember that it is not changing from the international or the national market. You find that in Kampala and then at the East African coast, the price are relatively stable. Then why it drops so badly from the local market? That is the question of the middleman. So get to see what Gilbert said. And finally, right our speaker, government normally advise our people, for example, to grow soybean. They tell them there is very high market for soybean. And the moment soybean perform well on northern Uganda, the prices are dropped drastically. People are getting lots and losses. So please, honorable minister, let people tell government what they want to do. Government should have stopped imposing programs onto the people. The values of all this money are not still known on northern Uganda because are being, they are being imposed on our people. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable uh, Gilbert. And so all these and more that has just come in from the regional parliamentary sitting, there are still a lot of other concerns which have not yet been touched. Balalo, Palan, uh, Nodding Syndrome, Karmajong, which are the major issues in actually which probably if not touched the actually people will see this regional parliamentary sitting as useless thank you